Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around March 1st, 2nd, 3rd, whatever. Timing is fluid. We're just going to see what comes up. I decided to use this deck again because I like it so much. Um, what's going on? Hmm. I got one thing I want to say. <laughs> I don't know if I should though. I'm sure it will get some laughs if I do. <laughs> well, it could be my own thoughts. So I'm just going to keep it to myself for a second and see what comes up in these cards. The star card. The star. Well, okay. So this is a blessing. This is a blessing. This is a star. This is somebody that shines very bright. It's a time of hope. It's a time of inspiration. Uh, beauty. This is beauty. This is a wish being granted. Blessing in disguise after the tower fell. So, because it's the card right after the tower. So we got a blessing in disguise here. Somebody that is... Uh, you know, real beauty. This is a real beauty. When you look at a star, it is beautiful. So we got a real beauty here. Now this is a renewal, hope, unexpected help. Eight of swords. So trapped. We have somebody that is trapped. Confused, perhaps. Unsure. Unsure. Fearful. Hmm. Eight of swords. Reevaluating, thinking. This person is thinking, stuck, perhaps. Uh, yeah. Maybe choosing not to see something. You know, just choosing to overlook something. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, the High Priestess. Look at those tarot cards. We got the High Priestess here with her crystal ball. So she is uh, doing a reading. <laughs> she's doing a reading. She's she's investigating. Okay, she's 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 using her intuition. She's observing. She's being in a state of reception, right? She's she's feeling out the situation. She's digging deep to receive the messages. She's asking for the answers and, you know, waiting for them to come. So, but there's some level of, oh, this could be fear. I don't know what to do, you know? So it's like, hmm. So asking questions, asking a lot of questions, perhaps. Using divinity, you know, a seeking, seeking out uh, tarot readers or something like that, or a medium, or this could be the person themselves. This person, you know, is wondering about the future and, um, hmm. Very intuitive individual here. Now, the High Priestess is uh, very spiritual, very self-sufficient. Uh, she's intuitive. She can seem a little distant. She has deep feelings. And her feelings develop quickly because she is... You know, she's so used to following her intuition. She's, she knows. She's, she's awakened, per se, whatever. Anyhow, she goes by her gut... Eight of Wands reversed. Now the Eight of Wands reversed is blocked. Blocked something. What is blocked? Something. Messages perhaps. Or there's things aren't moving very fast. Or they're not moving fast enough. Or there's a lack of communication. There's a lack of movement. We have. This is kind of like wanting to know. Uh, seeking out answers. Mm -hmm. Eight of Wands. Feeling guilty. No, I don't know. Is somebody feeling guilty? There could be some jealousy with the Eight of Wands reversed. Because somebody here that is jealous. Knight of Swords. We have somebody that is watching. Somebody that, We do have somebody that is jealous. Knight of Swords reversed. 
Eight of Wands reversed. Now the Knight of Swords reversed is somebody that is tricky. Ignorant and insincere. This person is not trustworthy. The Knight of Swords in reverse is somebody that is not trustworthy. If they're not trust, if that's not the case, this person may have fear, because typically the Knight of Swords moves fast, because they have no fear. But this Knight of Swords is in reverse, so somebody, somebody may be having some fear. <laughs> but this is also somebody that is clueless and insincere. Somebody could be looking for a fight. We could have somebody that blames everybody for something. Hmm. What is this? Knight of Cups reverse. False love. False love. Oh, cold. We have somebody here that is cold. They're, they may not be emotionally available. Okay. You may have somebody here that's not, I mean, this is the Knight of Swords reverse and the Knight of Cups reverse. Somebody that is cold, they're not opening up. There's a lack of love. There's a lack of, um, I don't want a relationship. I don't want to move forward. The High Priestess is observing something. You have like a tarot. You notice this high priestess has got a smile on her face, though. So she's happy. She's happy. Somebody may be jealous. Because this is jealous. And this is somebody who is a runaway train. It's very ignorant right? and insincere. May want. And, and, hmm. Four of Swords reversed. Ooh. Something about the time. Something about time's up. Or there's been wasted time. Strength. What goes around comes around. Yeah, what goes around comes around. Ooh, the Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. She's just like, look at her. She's gold. She's gold. She's, she's very poised. She's very well put together. She's elegant, right? She's, uh, what is she? Looks like she's got everything she needs. She's not suffering in any way by the looks of things. Okay. She's looking really good. She is. She's just like, huh? She's sitting pretty by the looks of things. She's just fanning her fan like, huh? I'm comfortable. I am comfortable. Now, this is healing. Somebody may have healed. They've been through a painful situation. Could be this, high, this could all be one person. It's like there, there's there's been a, a situation that uh, caused somebody to be exhausted and feel isolated and alone. They've been through a state of recuperation and healing, and they're now they've regained their strength. Now we got somebody here that is just doing fine very comfortable by the looks of things very comfortable here too so it's coming out of you know stagnation with the four of swords reversed recuperation it's coming out it's like coming out of that period of recuperation it's over but we have somebody here that is trapped Four of Cups reverse, seizing a new opportunity. This is, we got somebody here that is seizing a new opportunity. It looks like this guy missed an opportunity. There's been a missed opportunity here. But now, now we have a new opportunity. And I think the opportunity is being taken typically with the Four of Cups reversed. Um, the High Priestess knows... The high priestess knows that it's time. She knows that it's time. She speaks, too. She speaks. But it looks like she's... I don't know. Somebody hasn't been speaking with that Eight of Wands reverse. They haven't been communicating. We have somebody here that is very, very stubborn. Very stubborn. Take a look at that guy. Stubborn. 
So, but it is reverse. So he may have missed an opportunity of some sort. This one is has it all by the looks of things. Um, very stable, very secure, very comfortable. Dress as well, looks good. <laughs> what the hell is this? Death! Leaving somebody, and somebody is being left behind, do you notice? Somebody is being left behind here. So we got somebody here that's being left behind. Somebody is finding their strength to leave somebody behind that they just don't love. They just don't love this person. It's just like, I'm, I don't, I can't. I'm not in love with you. You know, that's what it is. So, and that is what it is. And I think we have somebody here that's been in denial by the looks of things. Somebody has been refusing to see the truth. This person knows the truth. Okay, she's she's the medium or the uh, tarot reader or the psychic or the intuitive or whoever this person is. She knows, okay? She knows. She's got the answers. She knows the answers. You can't get nothing past her. She observes everything. It is what it is. So anyway, we have somebody here I think that is jealous. They're jealous. They're jealous of a relationship or they're because eight of wands is reversed. Like they don't want something to move forward or they just don't want to be in this this relationship anymore. There's no relationship growth. You know? There's no love. There's no love. Okay? And there's another opportunity here. Endings lead to new beginnings. I think we have somebody here that knows in their heart that they can't be with this person because they're in love with somebody else. That's what it looks like to me. I think we're dealing with um, somebody that's in a false relationship. You know, but this is, the star card is a wish being granted. Somebody's wish being granted. Somebody may be hoping for something. What is the star card? What is that star card? King of Swords. King of Swords. Hoping. Open book. Hoping for somebody to speak up. This guy speaks. Somebody is hoping for somebody to open up or something like that. They're hoping for justice. You know, because this king is uh, very judicial. Put it that way. Um... Matter of fact, King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, right here. But we have everybody. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have we have everybody, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I feel as though somebody is being told, whether it's from their intuition or from a psychic or from a medium or from a tarot reader or something, they're being told to take the new opportunity. Leave that behind. Leave it behind. Follow your heart. Be brave. Be courageous. Be strong. Do the right thing. Anyhow, I don't know where that came from, but whatever. Um, the King of Swords is somebody that is very intellectual, very intelligent, very smart. Looks as though he is doing some sort of investigation. Okay, he may be investigating this one right here. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. He's, he's investigating, he's thinking. We got somebody here that is shining very bright. But what I was going to say, it's all about commitment, baby. Remember at the beginning, it's all about commitment. And and the Queen of Pentacles is somebody who wants long-term stability. The Queen of Pentacles, she's about that pentacle, and it pen, pentacle is stability. She's looking for, you know, long-term stability. Now, did I say Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo? If I did, I'm sorry. That's here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But we all take these energies on. Anyhow, um, somebody is, it looks like this guy is doing his homework. 
he's doing his homework or he's investigating he's doing some sort of paperwork he's he's watching this woman so we do have a masculine that is watching this woman and she is doing very well okay she has she's strong she's beautiful whatever we have, we are leaving somebody behind death is an ending that leads to a new beginning profound change transformation separation and loss so i think there is going to be a separation here somebody is separating from somebody that they don't love because it's time it could be dealing with a king of cups somebody who's going to follow their heart king of cups is anybody it's a man okay i know you guys don't like to hear that shit but you're talking to me. This is uh, masculine, and I don't care what you say. That is thinking about following his heart. He's thinking about love. He's wanting a relationship. He's wanting uh, wish fulfillment. Okay? He's wanting, he's, he's thinking about his, his hopes and his dreams and his wishes, and he's thinking about his future. But he probably... He may not be communicating right now. He may not be communicating because he's stuck in his head or something like that. Um, somebody is stuck in their head. Could be a feminine that is stuck in their head. Somebody is stuck in their head. But this is coming out of stagnation. There's been some time that has been wasted or lost or somebody could be missing an opportunity or they missed an opportunity because they didn't take action when they were supposed to. No action. No follow through. So they're missing an opportunity. I think we got somebody that is, is taking it. It's like, this, this is taking a new opportunity. So I think we have one person that has missed an opportunity because they were so stubborn. And now they're probably jealous and upset or whatever the case is. Um, when they should have taken action before it was too late. I feel as what the hell so one more card one more card he put in effort somebody's going to put in effort to her and I was going to clarify the queen of pentacles what, what's going to happen for her somebody's going to put in effort okay that is put in effort eight of you know prove themselves somebody is going to one more card Ooh, sun reversed. There's somebody not happy. Sadness, poor logic, unhealthy. Lack of clarity. Somebody hasn't been being honest with themselves about... Because the sun is a heart card, it really is. So somebody hasn't been honest with themselves about what their heart wants. I'm trying to end this. The hangman. The hangman is somebody that is, has wasted a lot of time with their stubbornness. They've been thinking, thinking, thinking. We got somebody now that is really thinking. They're thinking about what has happened. They are. And they're not happy. They're not happy with the outcome. So I feel like uh, we have somebody here that is really struggling to follow their heart to happiness. But, and why are they doing that? Why are they doing that? Because they're, they're, oh, I was going to say something mean. They got some sort of uh, mental conflict going on up there about, you know, maybe it's about their worth. Or maybe it's about, uh, what is it? What is it? Why are they so confused? Hierophant. They're so confused because it's all about commitment, baby. And I want commitment. And if you don't give me commitment, then it ain't going to work. Damn it. And marriage. This is somebody leaving somebody at the freaking altar, for God's sakes. 
So it is about marriage. It's about marriage and commitment. And it's about doing the right thing that your heart wants. So I think we have somebody here that is in their gut. I mean, this we have a very highly intuitive individual here. With the Hierophant and the High Priestess. Somebody that knows. They know deep down their gut. They do. They know deep down their gut that... You know, they have, the time's up. They have to make a move. They, they do. They have to make a move. They have to, it's, it's time. You're, you're, it's decision time. You're at that freaking altar or not or whatever. It's about marriage. It's, it's decision time. Either you want it or you don't. Not saying that you need to get married overnight or anything, but anyhow, um, whoo. So something to do with commitment on the table here. Leaving somebody may be getting a divorce, okay, or or uh, canceling an engagement, or deciding they don't want to marry somebody, or turning their back on somebody they just don't love because they have another opportunity that they do, and that is what we have here. That is what we have. So, anyhow, uh, I feel as though we have somebody that is really thinking right now. They're thinking about their happiness, and they're not happy with what they see. Are they going to communicate? Mm, I don't know. Uh, there's lack of communication here. But the high priestess already knows. This person may not be a very good communicator, or who knows what. To a sword. <laughs> indecisive going back and forth double loyalty somebody's at that fence you know they are they're sitting on that fence and they just don't know what to do they're blocking their emotions they're unable to see the truth they're unable to open up that somebody is protecting themselves they're afraid of commitment this is fear no shit of commitment fear of commitment so we got somebody here that is fearful of commitment and that fear of commitment is going to cause loss So that's what we got on the table here. Anyhow, um, we do, but endings lead to new beginnings. Somebody may have already been left behind. Maybe they were left behind by a woman, you know, and they're heartbroken. And now there's another opportunity for commitment. Now, this one's loyal. So somebody may have been left by a woman. And here you go. This is somebody who is loyal, trustworthy, and honest. She puts in effort. Anyhow, we could keep going all day, but we got to go. So, this is a dream come true with that star card. This is everything you asked for. It's beautiful. Stars are beautiful. It's all about commitment, baby. Good luck.